Hello everyone, I'm joined by a certain companion. I've got my pussy right next to me right now, as you can see. The only pussy I'll ever need. <laughs> I know, classy talk. Um, I thought I would reflect in this uh, pillow talk session of my uh my broadcast um reflect upon the current state of virtuality now virtuality uh has been extensively promoted really ever since the digital age started you know it became possible to uh to be with others in a way to to uh, to see others on a screen and talk to them and and all this got stepped up of course and with the the last year of the nonsense I'm just going to call it the nonsense okay from now on it's just it's the nonsense not any of the not any of the words that I'm supposed to to use to talk about it because none of those words uh, describe it as well as the nonsense that. Uh, that went into effect early last year and was in effect for for some time and is still in effect in some ways now um it was during that time that they really stepped up this call for virtuality you know like zoom call you know zoom call your family and talk to them and, you know, and we would see these commercials. Oh, it's just wonderful. You're sitting in your living room, looking at your parents, sitting in their living room, and you're talking to each other, and you're having a wonderful time together. It's just, you know, they might as well just really be there. Um, and, you know, I even heard some things like, you know, oh, we're going to have a virtual party. Or, you know, like there, there are all these things like, it's a, uh, you know, this is an online convention, um, a virtual convention and TV shows. Not that I care about most TV shows, not that I care about the entertainment industry at all these days. Right. Tiger Tom, what do you think? He doesn't care either. Um, but it was just like, oh, you know, we don't really need to be together in the same room. And now we have to be, we have to be six feet apart. Uh, and it's just not safe for us to be together. Uh, it's just not responsible to go someplace and be with your friends anymore. Uh, <clears throat> but that's okay because we have this wonderful technology that enables us to be with each other, even if we're not really present to one another we are virtual we are virtual buddies we are together in the virtual world and you know there are all these jokes made i've you know and i've said this before like i i don't understand i don't i, I mean I, I hear people you know i even you know listen to people who i think are are funny you know YouTube commenters or, or whatever. Some of them aren't, uh, are, aren't red pilled. You know, some of them are just are, are normies, but they're, they're funny, uh, guys. And, and, you know, that I like to listen to a lot of the time, but when they start talking about, uh, anything related to this stuff and, and, the, and they say things like, you know, they they make, they, they, I, I've heard so many jokes made about, Oh, you know, some variation of, I just, I can't remember what it's like to be outside. I haven't left my house. Uh, I haven't felt, left my house in so long. I can't remember what it, what uh, sunlight, sunlight on a blade of, of grass looks like, except through my window. I mean, <laughs> just utter crap like that. I, I just, uh, are, I mean, I, and it makes me think that there actually were people there actually have been people who have chosen to be shut in to that extent where they don't leave their houses. 
but every time it's it's a mystery to me because every time I go out and I've been out, there's never been a time I haven't gone I haven't left my house never, not once. Uh, there was no time. There was not even a small period of time. I mean, uh, maybe for some of you, it was like, oh, those first couple weeks, you know, when they said stay home, I really took that seriously. I, st I stayed home. I stayed way the hell home. Nah. I mean, I have to get out and about. I get cabin fever really, really easily. You don't want, you don't want to see me when I've got cabin fever. You wouldn't like me, you know, like Bill Bixby said. As uh, on the Incredible Hulk in that uh, famous intro, you you wouldn't like me when I've got cabin fever, uh, and and every time I've gone out, even back in, uh, even back when everybody was when there were no doubters, when everybody was taking this seriously back in in March or whatever, um, March of last year. I was still, when I went out, there were other people who were, out, who were out. There was never any shortage of cars on the road. You know, it's like, oh, there's no commute anymore because nobody's going to work. Well, I'm sure that was true for a lot of people. But, I mean, every time I went out, it, it wasn't like, it was never like a ghost town. It was never, it was never like that in my frame of reference. Now, I, I, I accept that for others, maybe it was different. Maybe, maybe, uh things were different in your neck of the woods, but that was never the case for me. And so I always just from the start was just, and I still do, you know, think to myself when I hear these kinds of witticisms, uh, so, so supposed witticisms about, Oh, I've just, I haven't left my house in so long. Am I ever going to leave my house again? Um, but anyway, that's that, that's uh, slightly that's a slight tangent from the subject. It's still it's not a total deviation, but it's a slight tangent. Um, I really think that virtuality has been pushed on us really hard over not just the last year. Of course, it has over the last year, but but in the last ten years, it's it's been like the wonders of virtuality. Uh, and, you know, we even had that movie with Johnny Depp, which I did not see, which I don't don't care to see because it looks kind of uh, boring and, and pompous called uh, Virtuality uh, or, or no, Virtue Virtuosity, um, you know, where he merges with the computer and becomes an becomes a godlike being. Uh, it's like. Okay, there's an irony here because, knock, 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 I know I'm communicating to you all right now through a screen. Um, there's nothing wrong with it in principle. It's just when it becomes this thing that you revere, this thing that you worship, or, or, or this, 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 like, the, the, the go-to of, well, we were going to have a convention at a, you know, in a, at the Civic Center, but now, well, let's just have a convention online. Or I, I heard people, <laughs> you know, I heard people have had have had virtual parties, virtual parties. <laughs> I mean, what's the point? <laughs> and I'm not a party. I'm not. I've never been into parties myself. I'm not a party goer. But I mean, if you're going to go to a party, what what do you do? You I guess you you go in and you talk to people, you mingle, you talk to certain people, and then you talk to other people, and I don't know, uh, you know, you move around and and uh, meet people and and uh, maybe make new friends. How in the hell are you supposed to do that at a virtual party? And virtual parties are a thing. I know because I was told that I've, I've heard about them. So what is that? <laughs> Just like a split screen where it's like the Brady Bunch times 20, you know, with, uh, new, 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 you know, different person in each box. Here's the story uh, <laughs> of a man from Pittsburgh uh, 
who was stuck in his house for seven months. Um, then along came a girl, <laughs> a girl from Brunswick. <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up here. I just don't know. How do you mingle with people? How do you meet people at a virtual party? How does that happen? And what do you do? You just sort of wear, I mean, aren't you supposed to dress for a party? Isn't it like an occasion? And it's an, again, it's an ironic position for me to be in because I'm not a party goer at all. People who know me will know this. I, I've never, never, uh, I've never cared that much for parties. But I mean, if you're going to have a party, you want to uh, be seen. You want to you want to dress for it, right? So I mean, I don't know. You 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 wear your your party clothes, and then you appear on a little computer screen, <laughs> one square among many. Um, and how do you how do you talk to one another? Is there is there a way to select a certain box? And say, hey, I want to talk to you. I mean, don't we already have that? Isn't that Omegle or whatever? That thing where you can talk to a stranger. Um, uh, I just, I believe that they're trying to push us more and more towards virtuality. Towards virtual communication. Towards seeing virtual um, interaction as somehow... Uh, you know, the new thing, like it, it was in the old days that we got together in real space in meat space, but now it's all about being virtual. That's, that's what, that's what it seems like they're trying to, they're trying to preach to us now. They're trying to, uh, uh, condescendingly, uh, tell us, you know, these, these, uh, we being the, 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 the these these pawns on their chessboard, uh, they're they're trying to they're showing such patience with us as they're you know initiating us into what we really ought to already know, but because we're so dim witted, we're so retarded and, and so behind them, they they have to show us the new way to be. Um, virtual learning is a joke. Not not always. I guess that you know if it's in a certain context you know with somebody who's maybe older and who's who's dedicated and you know determined and interested then i could understand taking virtual classes but having little kids go like having like uh, kindergartners go to go to virtual classes that is just insane that is just dumb as hell um, of course it, it is, it is even dumber. I mean, I don't know. It might be, it might, it might actually be the lesser of two evils compared to, you know, some of the preschools they show you where they, they make kids actually, you know, stand in little circles, uh, little chalk circles apart from one another, uh, during PE, uh, you know, sorry, I almost hit the button there. I almost canceled myself. So, I mean, I guess it's better than it's better than what or or, or the the kind of things where they they make it, they make you you're sitting at a desk and your desk is like a like this this uh, this glass cubicle with plexiglass all around it and stuff. I mean, I'm I've never thought I've never thought I've said I've never thought I would say it's good to hear the school buses driving again. I never thought that would occur to me to think, uh, yeah, boy, uh, it's great to he, hear public schools, uh, doing their thing again. But I mean, lately that's been my frame of mind just because the, this, this virtual education, I mean, it doesn't work. It doesn't work on any level, but it particularly not for, for little kids. Um, and particularly not for the less engaged already. The less engaged, they don't, they don't want to be staring at a screen. That's so, so dumb. So what am I saying here in the somewhat rambling uh, discussion? This is really, this is something I would have, 
I would have preferred to uh, to do a uh, as a live cast, but I don't have the capabilities to do a live cast anymore since I'm since I'm uh, no longer since I no longer have a thousand uh, plus um, plus followers. Um, but we've got to move away from this. We've got to absolutely say. Uh, screw this virtual stuff. You know, if, if I, if I want to go to a convention, I don't want to go to a virtual convention. A virtual convention is lame. It is lame. Let me go, let me go to a real convention where I'm actually sitting in a room with other people. Um, I'm not really attending. There's no attending a virtual convention. Yes, you can watch it, but are you in attendance? <laughs> and people are like, well, it's great. You can just sit there in your pajamas. And well, I don't want to sit there in my pajamas. And, and I don't think that's on in the long run. I don't think that's what most people would want. I, I get, I get the short term, like the, the laziness factor, I guess, as somebody who's more OCD compulsive, you know, I, I don't, I don't get that at all because I don't, I don't want to just lay about, uh, you know, if I'm, if I'm just laying about, there's something wrong with me. That's just not how I'm psychologically constituted. I mean, but others, I, I get that it, it, there's something that can be like getting breakfast in bed. I've never, I, I, I don't want breakfast in bed. <laughs> that's like the, the height of luxury. I don't want it. I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want it if, uh, uh, even if I could have it, you know, I wouldn't want to be served. I don't like to be served. <laughs> Generally speaking, if I were rich, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have servants, um, because I don't like to be served. Uh, I can barely handle it at a restaurant, you know. But all of that aside, um, we've got to we've got to stop. Uh, we've got to show. We've got to register disapproval of all this virtual crap. This this effort to make everything virtual. Um, you know, to say that that being virtu virtually there is the same thing as being there. It isn't. It just isn't. And uh, that's all I have to say about this. And I, I know, again, it's ironic because you're virtually hearing me say these things, aren't you? But so it goes. I still think my point is valid. Uh, let me know what you think. My name is Andy Nowicki. You can check out my work at altrightnovelist.com.